And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you an easy way to create sand text effect. Someone in the comments asked me how to do it and this is obviously just one way but it's a quick way to achieve the desired effect. Just drag and drop an image of sand onto your canvas then use the scale tool shift s scale it down holding control. I confirm via scale. And this is now our starting point. Let's add the text. So I go to my top layer. Use the type tool, left click on the canvas. Let me just call it sand. I press Ctrl A and then I size it up. To begin with, I'll just use plain black. Now use the alignment tool, left click on the text and align it relative to image. Now it's centered. Next up, we play around with the blending modes. Soft light works best, but you can also try overlay. It depends on the effect that you want, but I'll stick to soft light. You can adjust it further by going down with the opacity right here. Let me go to like maybe 80%. You can adjust the color, so right click on it, alpha to selection, and then pick a lighter color, maybe like a dark brown. Then go to edit, fill with foreground color. So this affects the color of your sand text as well. I'll deselect it by pressing shift ctrl A and you're basically done. But you can improve the results by adding a drop shadow if you want that. Just right click again on your text layer, alpha to selection, then go to select and invert. So now the outside is selected. Now we go to filters, light and shadow and use the drop shadow legacy. I use 10, 10 and 20 as values. So for X, Y and blur radius. For the color, let me stick to black. And opacity, I set it like to 75, I confirm. If this is too harsh for you, you can just increase the blur radius. So I've used 20 as a value. You don't have to use the specific values. And you also see that it readjusts the canvas a little bit. So if you need a specific size, just export this, then open a new project, import it, and then adjust it to the size with the scale tool. But that's basically it. So this is the process that I would use to create a sand text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.